Hey guys, you want to hear all the details about why I retired? Stay tuned. Talk about how you spoke the book. That's how you spoke the book. So, a lot of people have been asking, why did you retire from bass fishing? I didn't retire from bass fishing, I just retired from tour level competition. I actually am probably going to fish more now. I'm gonna have a lot of fun at it. We're gonna create a lot of videos that everybody can watch. They can go on all the adventures, the bass fishing adventures. We're even gonna do some saltwater stuff. We're gonna create all kinds of fun content for you all to just eat it up, watch it all. It's gonna be fun. But it just instead of me going to the tournaments, we're gonna to be doing that. But my main job now, I'm gonna be the color commentator and analyst for Major League Fishing. The newest, biggest thing out there, the Bass Pro Tour presented by Major League Fishing. Why did I do it? I felt like the time was right. I've been on the tour for 20 years. I've won five national tournaments, had almost 50 top tens. Um, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to do something else. I'm ready to, to not be out there, you know, on the grind. And, and I really like being at the tournaments. I really like doing stuff in front of the camera. And when I had the opportunity to do this, I jumped on it, I took it. It's gonna be fun, I'm gonna love it. The entire, this thing of still being able to be at the tournaments but still being able to make a living and being able to call the shots as I see them, they're really gonna allow us in this format to be, to really call it, to not sugarcoat anything. We're gonna be able to tell the fans exactly what's going on and break it down play by play so you guys can really understand it and enjoy it and I'm gonna try to put you in those anglers minds what are they thinking and that's kind of one of the reasons why Major League Fishing approached me about doing this is a lot of times these analysts and stuff in different sports are old washed up guys and you know been out of it for 15 years and well what what the folks at Major League Fishing wanted to do they wanted to get somebody that is relevant right now, that was still in the game, that has fished major league fishing events before, because I did fish them for one year, wants to, somebody that's been in that situation on those time restraints with the fishing, the penalties that you get if you drop a fish on the, on the floor, break a line, whatever, there's different penalties and stuff. They wanted somebody that's been through that, that's felt that, that knows what is going on with that, and to be able to describe it to the audience. And when they approached me about this, I, I really thought that I could probably do that pretty good. Maybe I'll suck at it. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be awesome to still be there, but yet to be able to call the action. I think it's going to be it's going to be a blast. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of questions about how the new Bass Pro Tour Major League Fishing format works, and it's going to be a lot different than how most people are used to watching bass fishing. It's no longer a five fish limit. It's every fish over one pound counts and the fish will be weighed by a boat official in the boat and immediately released. So it's gonna be the best thing for the fish, for the conservation of the fish that tournament fishing could ever be. The fish are going right back in. But anyway, basically how this is gonna work is that they've gotten 80 of the absolutely arguably the best anglers out there got these 80 guys together and how it's going to start day there's never going to be any more than 40 boats on the water so there's going to be group a of 40 boats and group b of 40 boats so there is 80 guys total in the tournament but to start the tournament they're split into two different groups and then what's going to happen is group a is going to fish the first day of the event then on the second day of the event group B is going to fish and then on the third day of the event group A is going to fish again and then at the end of that day once group A has fished two days group A is going to get cut in half to 20 and then on the fourth day group B is going to fish again 
And at the end of that day, they're gonna get cut down to 20. So we're gonna have 40 people left in the tournament and the other 40 guys go home. Those 40 go together and move on to the fifth day of the tournament. And then they compete on the fifth day and then they cut to the top 10. So the bottom 30 go home. And then on the sixth day of the event, the top 10 compete, zeroed weights. So it's a one day free for all. And we're going to throw some quirks and works in there that they might not even be on the same lake that they started the tournament on for the, at the end of it, at the, at the last day. So it's going to be a completely, totally interesting format. The one of the things I am most excited about, and hear me out on this, these guys, this has been, a lot of these guys, it's been their profession for 20 years or more. There's guys that's been, been at it longer than that that are going to be competing for the first time, not just trying to catch the five biggest fish. They're trying to catch all the fish. They're trying to score as much as they can. And guys are going to win these tournaments catching only big fish. There's going to be tournaments, one, where the guys just catch a whole pile of small fish and a mixture of anything in between. So that's what's gonna make this format so interesting is it's, it's completely different, but there's gonna be more scoring. You're gonna see higher weights. You're gonna see, you know, with all the fish counting, I mean, you'll be able to, you'll be, if you get into a school of fish, whether they're two pounders or four pounders, I mean, you're gonna be able to come, think about this, you'll be able to come from nowhere and all of a sudden just run right back up the leaderboard. I mean, that, how cool is that? It's it's literally it's not going to be over till it's over. I mean, the, these guys, you're gonna you know in a five fish limit tournament, if you're not doing good normally by two, you know, one o'clock or something, you're you're pretty much in the can. At this point, you could get on a, a you know, a, a school of fish and just start catching them. And even if they're not big ones, if there's enough of them there, you can get your weight right back up there. So with everything counting, I just think it's, I think it's going to change. It's going to have, some people are going to have a hard time dealing with it. I think we're going to bring more people into it. We're going to bring a lot more people into the sport just with the amount of scoring. It's going to be much more interesting to watch. And, and we're going to bring this to you as in, we're not going to highlight uh, what everybody's used to as a weigh in. You know, what we're going to highlight is these athletes and them when they're playing the game. Our live streaming, we're gonna have 324 hours in nine tournaments of live streaming. And we might have more than that. That's what we know we're gonna do for sure. So you're gonna be able to tune in or come to the event site and watch the guys fish. Watch them play the game. Not just watch them parade across some way in stage at the end of the day holding a bag of five fish and saying you know hey hey i caught him on this you guys now are going to be able to watch these athletes at their craft you're going to watch them real time on the internet or at the event site making those decisions making those plays making the stuff that's going to win or lose the tournament for them you're going to actually be able to watch the sport that we all love instead of just watching a damn way in it's going to be phenomenal and i'm retired from it and i'm going to be the guy right there calling all the shots so i can't wait for it to start i know everybody is going to love it and it's just going to be coolest thing in the world to me you know once i've heard all this stuff that's going on still though is the conservation end of it as we're as we're going to let all these fish go right away as soon as they're caught so we're not going to i personally think that in regular bass tournaments, in which I did my entire life, that there's a lot of delayed mortality. You know, carrying a fish, bouncing him around in a live well all the time. So I think, you know, we're gonna conserve the resource better. We're gonna get more people into the sport, but yet we're gonna conserve the sport better and teach people how to take better care of the fish. So it's just, it's an exciting thing. I, it, it, I'm so excited about it that I retired from it to, to help them take this sport to the next level. and. Uh, I'm ready for all you guys to join us too. So make sure you tune in, watch us. Bass Pro Tour kicks off January 26th or 27th, somewhere I'm sure you can find it online, uh, on Lake Toho in Kissimmee, Florida. Come check us out, MLF Live, MajorLeagueFishing.com. It's going to be everywhere. You're going to have a hard time getting away from it. So 
that's the whole story, guys. Appreciate everything, and come watch us on Major League Fishing. Talk about how you're supposed to book them. That's how you're supposed to book them.